Okay, good. good. Hunter, I'd like to ask you about two players. First, McClendon is a young man, comes in, UDFA, very high football IQ. They're high on him. What have you seen from him? You know, uh, he, he's a great player. He's uh, he's came in with the mentality of just to, to work and just to get after it. He, he asks the right questions in uh, the meeting rooms. And, uh, yeah, he absorbs all the information really well. Um, being an undrafted guy, he, he's coming in. You have to come in with that mentality. You know, I know myself. Uh, we've ha you have to come in with that. And, yeah, he's, he's done everything the right way so far. So I'm proud of him. And then Greg, Ben Roten comes in. He's a grizzled veteran able to stay healthy all the time. What has he brought and lent to this offensive line? Yeah, we're really excited to have Greg. Uh, he obviously, like you said, uh, he, he's been around quite a while, so he brings a lot of experience. So uh, it's, it's great to add something like that into into our room, add leadership, especially, especially for these younger guys to have someone who's been there and done that, you know, only only helps us and benefits us. So it's great having him. Andre, I guess this is your first time, you know, with a new quarterback, starting quarterback. What's it been like? Kind of, I know it's only been a couple of days with Jimmy G, but what's it been like kind of working on the relationship? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, it was funny. It was literally like the couple of days ago, it was me and his first times getting snaps together. So, you know, we're, we're, we're working together. It's, uh, it's awesome working with a guy like that. He, he gives great feedback. He, he's a great leader in that huddle. He, he leads us real well. And uh, you, you want to block and play for a guy like that. So I'm excited to have him. The element of do you just snap the ball the same, or do you kind of cater it in a different way to or do quarterbacks have different preferences in terms of how you snap it? Or? Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it, it's very different. Every, every quarterback in, uh, in center, it's, it's, there's little tweaks here and there that you got to go through. And we're kind of in that, in that uh, growing experience right now, just learning, you know, communicating how, how you want the ball, you know, placed right here. It's, it's little tweaks here and there. And that's what we're kind of dealing with right now, especially going with we got three different quarterbacks. We got, you know, almost three different centers who we're working with. So everyone's a little bit different, but. Uh, it's, it's been it's been good so far. So. Probably not any more emphasis than you want to do to protect him, but he has had injuries, and that's kind of been his career of late. Um, does it even more play in your head about that in terms of protecting him this year and how important it is to protect him? You know, my job and the rest of the, the other four guys on the offensive line is to keep a quarterback healthy at all times. So, you know, that job isn't changing. Our, we want to keep him as healthy and as clean as we can for every game. So. Sure, there were a lot of times in training camp last year where you're looking to your right and left, wondering who exactly was lining up alongside you. Um, it seems like that's changed a little bit this year, where a little bit more consistency. Um, how much better does that feel, kind of bringing back the same five and, and moving forward with that group? It's awesome. You know what I mean? The O line is all about uh, cohesiveness and uh, gelling together. Like I've said be before, a lot of times uh, that chemistry playing between different guys you you've played with before it's 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 very it's very helpful and it's a very familiar feeling. So. Uh, our, our challenge is, is to keep working every day and just keep growing, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Andre, people who've played with Jimmy before talk about the way he gets rid of the ball really quick. I'm just curious. You obviously have played no games with him, no pads, but how much will that improve this offense, his ability to just get rid of the ball so quick? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it would, it would help us out a lot. Uh, as offensive line, you want to get that ball out quick because it makes your job easier. But uh, you know, our job's going to stay the same. We want to block and protect him for as long as we can. That's what we're going to continue to do. When's the first time you actually snapped the ball, Jimmy? Was it like a big day in the calendar? Kind of like <laughs> yeah, two days ago. Two days ago was the first time. So, you know, it was actually funny. I was looking forward to it. I was thinking, like, uh, this past off season, I was like, man, I didn't even snapped to him yet. So <laughs> two days ago was our first time, and it was good, man. We're just going to continue to keep working together. And, you know, the more reps you do, the more you get familiar with someone, and that's that's what we're doing. And we're just going to continue to grow together, and it's going to be good. Max says he talks trash. Does he talk trash out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a big talker. You know, him, him and Jermaine go back and forth. That I have to get Jermaine back in the huddle all the time. Like, <laughs> he, he likes to get in your head. It, it's fun It's fun playing with dudes like that. I try to stay in my own element. I, I can't say too much about that. <laughs> said, what's like the, not misconception, but what's the biggest thing that you learned about Jimmy that you would have never thought about him just on the outside looking in? Man, he's just one of the boys. You know, he comes in and he's he, he just kicks it with us. And, you know, he's, he's willing to hang out with us uh, in the locker room. You know, he's, he's just an ordinary dude, and that's what we love. He's... He's just one of the guys, and I can't say too much more about that. We Do you love feel that. like you won't really be able to get to know Jimmy until you see his grilling skills? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard he, he can throw down too, so hopefully uh, we'll have a little cook-off here and there. <laughs> uh, Dre, you know, obviously Jimmy wasn't there in the spring, and then Josh isn't there now. Um, you know, whatever issues might come from that, you know, obviously it could be a race with great O-line play. You know, how much, you know, do you guys embrace that challenge to be as 
good as you can for the benefit of kind of all of that. Yeah, we're just taking the mentality that wh who's ever back there running that rock, uh, we're going to block our best for it. You know, our, our job is whoever is back there running it, we're going to create a hole and and uh, anyone can run it back there if, if you, you block the right way. So that's the mentality we're going to take. Was there some uh, like validation when you look back to last season? We talked about now having the five in place, and you go back to last training camp at all these spots up for grabs. People are like, oh, how's this O-line going to be? And you guys blocked for the leading rusher in the NFL, kind of turned into some strength. Is there some validation how the last year has gone as a unit? Yeah, we're just going to continue just to build off of that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with the way we, we ran the ball, but we're not satisfied in any, way, in any way. There's always room for improvement, and that's what I feel like gets us excited. You know, we go back and we watch plays from last year, like, man, if we would have just done this, we could have got, you know, this much more yardage. There's always that, and that's that's our mentality we're taking. Like, if we just did one little thing right, we could have went for 10 more yards, 20 more yards. So we're just going to continue to keep growing on that, and hopefully it's gonna, we're going to continue to improve. Fine. Andre, can you talk about Dylan Parham a little bit? Last year, he came in as a rookie. And he started all 16 games, or 17 games, excuse me. And then this year, um, he looks a lot smoother and, and, and really understands the concepts of what guys are trying to do up front. Can you talk about what he brings to the table from that standpoint? Yeah, Dylan, Dylan's been awesome. We've all been super impressed with the way he, he's came and handled himself, especially as a rookie. It, it, rookie year's hard, it's long, and he's, he's done a great job with just staying focused. He's a dude that comes in every day and just grinds. And uh, I was really impressed with the way you know he carried himself in the meeting room and on the field. He's he's a guy who responds to adversity very well, and you want to play with a guy that's like that. You know, it's one it's one of my boys. So happy to have him there. Going back to that question about the validation from last year, you guys often said you didn't you didn't pay attention to all that. You weren't you know you weren't focused on it. But how much did it drive you, like knowing that you know people were doubting you so much, and then going into this year, you don't really have that same because there's not really people doubting in that same way. Like you have to find motivation tomorrow. You know, I think the every, every motivation is, is all self motivation. You know, we 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 have the same pieces there, and we want to continue, like I said earlier, to to keep improving. But we look back and we're like, man, we we could do so much more, so much more, and that's what we're going to continue. It's all about the little things, especially as offensive line. It's it's about the small little details, and we just need to continue to improve on those. And I think uh, it'll be good in the long term. Colton said that the Dome's gotten stronger this off season. Is that noticeable? Do you think that it's gotten bigger? Yeah, he's strong, man. He, he he showed up a couple months back, and I was like, man, how much is this dude weighing? <laughs> but he, he looks good. He looks good. He holds his weight really well, and he, he he's very strong. You know, he can squat. I, I can't even count that much, but he can squat a lot, and uh, that's the type of dude you want to play next to you. You want him on your side, so. <laughs> what does your offseason program kind of look like? What, what are some things you like to do to work on to, you know, to add strength or speed or whatever? Yeah, so pretty much uh, I stay here pretty much all offseason. And it's great because uh, AJ and his strength staff, it, they're they are amazing. And uh, I live here full time, so I got my house here. You got free food, you can't beat that. You got free training. So uh, I'm, I'm here in Vegas full time. But uh, just working out with those guys, their program is amazing. Uh, they do a fantastic job to get us ready for the season. So, What's been the best thing about living in, in Vegas full time aside from football? I definitely got to say the food. The food here is unlike anywhere I've been before. I think you get a lot of chefs that come out here, and they just they open up spots even off the strip. I mean, the food is fantastic. So, two more questions, guys. <laughs> What's your favorite spot? Oh, that's a hard one. Sushi. I got a shout out, Sushi Hero. It's definitely one of the uh, best spots for sushi. Um, man, uh, Lamai. If you guys are looking for a, a little um, Thai spots right off there, off of uh, St. Rose, it's a really good spot. But uh, I'm gonna keep the rest a secret. I don't want to give too many spots. I don't want to see all these faces in there. So. <laughs> you said what? You need a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm waiting. That's why I'm gonna keep them hush hush for right now until they start throwing something my way. Has <laughs> heard from Josh at all? No. You know, I try to talk to him here and there, but uh, it's a hard situation. I, I, I see where he's coming from. I see where both sides are coming from. Hopefully, we can get him back. So, yeah, we love we love Josh, and hopefully, it works out in the long term. Cool. Thank you, guys.